I think actually, I think, and I think you're going to disagree with this. I find it very hard to be invested, really invested in a story where I feel like there are no like decent characters to identify with. None of them were like good people, apart from poor Rebecca Hall, who hung herself because she was married to evil twins. Like that, I related to her, not because I've married two evil twins, but because she just like, she was the only good person in it. No one else had any like redeeming qualities as a character. So I found it quite difficult to really enjoy it in that way. Does that I make think sense? Michael Michael Caine's character maybe has a slight. I mean, oh. he's kind of slightly morally ambiguous, and definitely, you know, he he's definitely on a, the the darker side. There is a bit where like Michael Caine figures out that Hugh Jackman is very much still alive, even though he is like the forty fifth clone of Hugh Jackman. And you think, well, and he and he says to Hugh Jackman, he he says, "You're gonna let Borden get hung for for this," and he didn't, you know, you're you're still here. And you think, why don't you just go and tell someone that Hugh Jackman is mm. still alive? But that wasn't. Than... He didn't know about it for that long. Like, no. so I kind of agree with you on that. Like, as in the moment he discovered um, the. Angie was still alive he was like let's let's not let's not let Borden die but he helped he was the producer slash stage manager slash engineer of all of these very sinister tricks like he was a part of this very dark world and essentially <sighs> When Borden hung, which did not appreciate that the camera did not pan away for that hanging and they put in a very crisp neck breaking. So that was really quite vile. Um, but he didn't, he sort of said that this isn't okay. And then he went to the twin and helped him kill Hugh Jackman instead. Yeah. So I don't understand how is he... He's not a good character. No, he's not a good so so he's not like I said, he's he's more he's I wouldn't say he's like a completely moral character, but I would say in this world that we're watching, if you're picking out people like if you if you're doing like a moral scale, say, like mm. you've got Hugh Jackman's probably Hugh Jackman and Christian Bale's characters, Borden and Angiers, are like at the bottom of this thing. You've got Rebecca Hall at the top, who just is unfortunately caught up in all of this. I'd say oh, Michael Caine is is not like right at the bottom. He's somewhere between bottom and middle. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I you, do know. You'd what probably you mean. put you'd you'd probably put Scarlett Johansson's character. Maybe in the middle, in terms of mm. like, she was a. I thought that she was a fairly weak character. If you know, being completely candid, that she, Hugh Jackman was like, I want you to go undercover, a Christian Bale, and you know, with her just sort of flimsy lady loyalty, she couldn't help but fall in love with him. So I'm getting the the, the strong impression that you did not like The Prestige. Like, oh, that's a loaded question. I don't know. Let's rate it out of five out of five dead budgery guards. What would you give <laughs> The Prestige? Well, I would give it three. I think it's I so I think this is where we're differing on this because I think you're uh and I can see what you're saying about how you find it difficult to watch a film where the characters are essentially just like morally bankrupt, right? And I sort of struggle with like The Wolf of Wall Street for the same reason. You know, I watch The Wolf of Wall Street and I just go 
these are just terrible people <laughs> just being yeah. horrible. And, but that and, one's easier for me because it's to... real. Whereas this this isn't real. So it's hard to get invested in fiction, in total fantasy, when it's not pleasant. I can still watch a film where I find the characters sort of morally repugnant. From a story point of view and the way the film's constructed, I think it's up there with some of Christopher Nolan's like best films. <laughs>